Let's go check these other doors over here, too. Are these doors open? Oh, okay. We just woke up the dead there, didn't we? Welcome back, everybody, to Ravenhurst. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to put on our uh, rad gear, and we're going to go hit a tier 5. I'm not going to do it as a quest. Um, we're just going to go hit one of the factories, either the chamois or the, the shotgun messiah, uh, and we are in search of the... Um, we're in search of the socket, okay? We need the socket so that we can make our flying vehicles in the game uh yeah so that's what we're doing uh so we have we are gonna have to sacrifice uh, some of our armor rating uh but with the uh we still have 77 armor rating which isn't terrible uh but we're loaded for bear here i mean <laughs> we're just gonna go in and tear the shit out of the place uh you know i should probably think about to um starting to use I don't know what this, I don't know what this actually uses, Hyper Blaster. Oh, shit. Oh, it uses some kind of weird cartridge thing that I haven't come across. Okay. So, yeah, maybe, you know, there's definitely more stuff that, uh, content that we haven't experienced yet in Ravenhurst. So, we want to start, you know, start looking for some of that stuff because of the fact that, um, you know, this series is, is almost over, you know, it, it's going to essentially be over once alpha 20 drops. So we don't have a lot of time left and, you know, I'd like to, I'd like to hit all of the in game stuff if possible. I had talked to you guys about, you know, about fixing the house up, but I think, you know, with our limited time, I don't know if I'm going to get to that. We still might, we'll just see how things go, but, um, that's not the highest priority. I, I, but you know, I can always fix a house up in seven days a night. That's not really a big deal. Um, but I'd like to try and experience some of this final in-game content in Ravenhurst. So that's what we're really going to focus on. All right. So we have a, we do have that rocket launcher that we found. Um, so just trying to think, do I have any? Oh, if I have any rockets, they're either going to be in here. We have one rocket and we don't want that kind of rocket though. We want the, uh, the frag rockets because we don't want to destroy structures. It looks like I'm probably going to have to make um, some rockets, so let's not rely upon that. You know, the other thing we have, too, is seven points. Oh, my goodness. All right, you know what? Let's just let's just max this out. Um, okay, what are we missing for this? Perception level 10. Uh, okay, we would have to, to totally max out perception level 10 to get that all the way up. Uh, what does that, what does it give us, though, uh, at four? Increased damage by 40%, reload speed... By 30, yada, 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 cripple enemies, craft high explosive rockets and anti-personnel fragmentation rockets. So that gives us the ability to actually make them. Um, why isn't that showing up as fragmentation here? Let's uh, get the caps lock key off first. Okay, so frag ammo. I don't even know what this thumplerite stuff is. I haven't come across it. Um, so this is what it costs to make one frag ammo. Now, here's the thing about this. Grenades are way cheaper. <laughs> way, way cheaper to make. Um, you know, obviously the rockets, you're going to be more precise with it. You're going to be able to get it off a little quicker than the grenade, you know, that sort of thing. But I don't know. It seems to me like grenades would be a better option. And pipe bombs are still, you know, in my version of Rape Nurse, I'm on 7.3, are still way OP anyways, and they still just about one-shot everything, except for the really, really mean super monsters. So, I don't know, maybe we'll just stick with, with pipe bombs, but we'll be able to even do more damage now with those points that we put into Demolitions Expert. Okay, so we still have five points left. Um, I'm not really sure what else we want. I mean, we could go ahead and, and max out Master Chef... That would give us um, Grandpa's recipes we could make if we wanted to. Let's go to Fortitude. Fortitude is maxed out just uh, without glasses. It's totally maxed out. Pain tolerance is maxed out. Healing factor is maxed out. Iron gut, I mean, that wouldn't be a bad one to take for sure. Just because, you know, but the thing is, is we've got food up to wazoo. So I'm not so worried about that. Except for it does give us, you know, better... Uh, you know, the buffs last for longer, so that there's that too. So 
We got that going on. We got everything pretty much that we want. Oh, heavy armor. That's one we were kind of maybe thinking about. And hidden strike too. Getting this maxed out would actually be super useful too. So what are we missing here? We'd have to get agility to 10. Yeah, you know what? I think I want to get the hidden strike up. So um, we'll, we'll, we're will we going to get this all the way maxed out first. And then after that, we'll consider what else we have to work on. Okay, anyway, um, so we should be ready to go. Uh, I've got ammo. I've got meds. I got ammo. I got food. I got ammo. I got lock. <laughs> we got tons of shit. Uh, we should probably take some gun repair kits with us too. Uh, my guns are in reasonably good shape. Uh, so let's see, we want to look in, in here and I should have, yeah, I've got three extra gun repair kits. Let's just take those with us. And you know, the goal is really to get to the end loot, but also hopefully find, um, the, uh, you know, that stuff, the sockets and whatnot that we're looking for. And so the two factories, I think, and Higashi, those three places are the tier fives. I still haven't done yet here in this series. Um, but Higashi's probably going to take, actually, it would be kind of fun to do Higashi. I haven't done it in a long time. Yeah, let's do Higashi. Let's do Higashi. Okay. We want to take the four by with us, um, you know, for the room. And let me make sure this has actually got room. Yeah, it does. Okay. I'll turn that on. Now, guys, this is a tier five. Um, which means this is probably going to have to be a multi-part episode. I was just going to live stream tier fives, but, um, I, you know, that's, I don't know that that's going to be practical. So what we're going to do is we're just going to, uh, do this on the let's play, but it's, you know, there's no way I can do it in one episode. In fact, I'm not going to even be able to do it probably in two episodes, it's probably going to be anywhere from three to four, uh, but we'll just see how things go and, uh, yeah, go from there. So I think the Hagashi building is in the southern city i don't believe we have one here in our town so let's go down to trader jen's city and um i you know i suppose the problem with taking it as a quest is i don't know that i'm gonna have time to do this all in one session in real life and so if we take a quest and then i have to leave which i'm pretty sure i will oh you know what this is a tier five this is a custom tier five Hmm. Anyway, uh, if I have to leave, then it screws up the quest. Fizz Fireworks. Hmm. Maybe we should try that. I mean, we've done the factories in the Higashi building many times in the past. It might be, might be interesting to try a custom. Yeah, let's do a custom. What the hell? All right, I, I have never been in this place. First time seeing it, have no idea what's gonna happen. But we're gonna try it out. Fizz fireworks. All right, let's walk over here first and see what's going on. There doesn't appear to be Zika Roos outside here. There is something here, though. It looks like a way down. Okay, I wanna. I'd like to try and do the POI the way the, the designer um, intended. And so, I don't know if we're supposed to go. The thing about these custom POIs, they're not like van always like vanillas. Sometimes. Because most vanilla POIs, you don't have to really break anything to follow the path. You just follow, find, figure out how to go in, and, and there's a path laid out. Okay, now I'm hearing Zeke's, but not that's not always the case with the customs. Do we have a cop somewhere? We do. I just don't know where he's at. Hey, get out of here. Well, there's the cop. No pukey. No pukey allowed. Not on my watch. $527 make you holla. 
Hey, buddy. Hold that head still. Okay. So, I guess, I mean, who knows which way you're supposed to actually get in here. There's a safe in there. Um, let's go ahead and... It'll probably be... It probably would have been quicker to break the door, but that's alright. We'll just break this. I do need to make myself a new pick here pretty soon, too. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna check major loot as usual, but we're not gonna do basic looting. I I mean I got so much shit. <laughs> I got all the stuff from the horde night in my Dropbox. I didn't even bother trying to sort it this morning when I got on because I'd rather get into the action, you know. But we'll check safes and we'll check you know major loot items. Okay, M60 receiver, yeah. We'll take all that. Okay, let's do some snipe doodling here. Oh, look at that. That's like a big thing of nitrate and coal. Nice. Could come here and stock up on gunpowder supplies. Okay. Well, you're a runner, are you? Not anymore. Yeah, look at this. Big old supply of coal and nitrate. I like it. I like it. Okay. Is these doors or are these doors open? They are. Let's go check these other doors over here, too. Are these doors open? Oh, okay. We just woke up the dead there, didn't we? We got uh, the usual incoming Zeeks from the outside. Whoa. So as a lot of you who are watching this uh, series probably know and may have even participated in, that's a nice find, uh, you know, we've been playing Darkness Falls on our multiplayer server. And oh my goodness, you guys, the zombies hordes uh, on that game are, on Darkness Falls, are just insanely difficult. And, you know, I've, I've been asked the question a couple of times recently, you know, which what's the hardest mod? And my answer, you know, based upon what I've played anyways, I know there's more mods out there that I haven't played, but based upon what I've played, I'd say, well, Ravenhurst is definitely the hardest mod in terms of just the general gameplay and progression and all that, but Darkness Falls hordes, you guys, are just, you know, with the with the demonic zombies and the big behemoths and demons and the fire spitters, uh, way, way more dangerous than what I've seen so far in Ravenhurst. Just out of this world, man. Literally and figuratively. Um, you know, we, we've got such high zombos, um, you know, on our server right now that some of them you can't even kill until you get these special, you know, laser-based weapons. Um, which we're just about ready to start being able to make because uh, we went into a bunker last night and, you know, got the stuff to make the laser bench. Um, but, yeah, it's just unbelievably insane how hard those zombies are in there. It's fun, though. It's it's a super big challenge, you know. All right, take her out. All right, well, I'm not sure which door we should go in. We still have a couple fatties here. Let's let them get down here and we'll dispatch them. That zombo outside? I don't know. Let's get some bleeds going on, you guys. I think just about all of my weapons have rad removers. We should check that. Is that it? Yeah, let's look. Rad remover, rad remover, rad remover, rad remover, rad remover, and rad remover. Okay, yeah. Uh, you pretty much need that now because most of my Zeeks are irradiated. I'm not going to be able to get to Nurse Nancy's head so she gets a gut shot. 
I still have relatively low sniper skill. Um, in fact, the main reason I can do as much damage as I can do is because of the fact that I, I have such a high level weapon. Um, let's look at that really quick. I'm just curious where I'm at with rifles. Rifle weapons. Yes. <laughs> I only have level six with rifle weapons. Oh man, stuff takes so long to level in this mod. So incredibly long to level. I mean, I use a shotgun probably more than anything else, and I'm still only level 41 even with shotties. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Sledgehammers are 32. Bladed weapons are 53. That's because we used them so much in the, <coughs> excuse me, in the early game. Okay. Anyway, let's continue here. Um... Couldn't get a headshot off on him. Okay. We do have a silencer on this guy so and one of you guys were telling me to turn my light off and that'll help with silence kills I really I really do like this um, mp5 weapon oh shit run 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 away Down with the sickness. All right, I'm done playing. You too, huh? Don't give me a bleed, you bastard. Bleed and an infection. And an abrasion. All right. That's why we got this stuff along. Pick one of those. Um, the abrasion's probably already being fixed by the first aid kit that we took. Okay. Now, here's a question. Is this actual paper? No, it's just wood. What about this? That's wood too, damn it! Damn it, Jim! I want paper! Okay. Let's see if we can get some more silent kills here. Double tap. Incoming from somewhere. Looks like this is a new room in here. Alright, what's this? Duct tape. We will take duct tape no matter what. Actually, we don't really need to because we can make it easily enough, but yeah. That's a lot of Zeeks. I'll never, never tire of seeing that happen. Beautiful. Okay. Another bleed. You have suffered a deep laceration. Okay. Uh, let's check these saves. Safes. Z safes. Z safes. Safes. A nice Lucille bat there. And some more weapon parts. Alrighty. Just restroom there. Actually, you know what? Before we do anything further in this room, we never actually went all the way back over here. So let's go all the way back over here first. This is a similar setup to, to the bookstore library. Um... I guess we could check in here. I, I don't know that we really need any more schematics. Uh, well, we do, actually. That's not true. We need a couple more, but nothing significant. That looks like an ammo pile. Can we get up there? Is 
see, this is where some parkour would come in handy. Um, all right, here, let's do this. Just a reminder to everybody, there is no parkouring in, or I'm sorry, no parkouring. There is no nerd pulling in Raven Earth, so that's why this is a little more complicated than it would otherwise be. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay. Nice. We got another burning flame mod. Looks like we have the fireworks laboratory in here. Okay. Um, let's start breaking this down. Uh, there's a couple things we don't need. Don't need that. Don't need that. Don't need that. You know what? I'm going to throw the dollar bill, dollar dollar bills away. Why? You know why. I've got thousands and tens upon tens of thousands of dukes back at the base. Don't need it. Okay. All right. Let's make sure everybody's loaded up here. And let the fun begin. Oh my goodness. How in, the, how in the hell did you not hear that, lady? And how did you guys hear the second shot but not the first one? I'll never know. We'll never know the answer. Hold still. It looks like that tired us out a little bit. That's why we got these. All right, throwing those away, throwing those away. I'm going to actually keep the hinges because, you know, hinges, right? Uh, nope, don't want that. We'll check these. All right, so I just uh, busted through this door into this room here. So let's see what's going on in here. Doesn't appear to be a whole lot of anything going on in here. Oh, that's because they broke through earlier and came out through here and we killed them. All right, I have more lab equipment. Um, so let's just keep looking at this stuff. We'll take glue. Glue is kind of like duct tape, you know? It's always useful, even though it's not that hard to make, but if we have room for it, we'll take it. That, I just don't want. We're hungry, are we? Okay, we can fix that. We'll have a couple of steak and potato meals here. And um, let's also take one of these, since we're probably going to need it as well. Is this paper? No, what the hell, man? Put paper in these places. This probably just, yeah, goes out to here where we were before. Okay. Alrighty then. Uh, let's scrap a doodle that. Let's drop a doodle this and this and this, and we'll keep the rest of it. I'm not sure where this is going. Where did we wait? Where did we come out at? Oh, this just goes back into the other room. Okay, yeah. The other room we were just in. In here. 
All right, so I think we're ready to proceed into the next area, wherever that may be. We're going to have to figure it out. I think it's back through here and then around the corner. I don't think there's anything up there that we had since we... Oh, Ravenhurst freeze. There we go. Uh, let's take this back out to the 4 by. Didn't I do the graphics command? I did. We still seem to have weird textures. Hmm. Okay, whatever. Uh, yeah, let's drop uh, this stuff off in here. And, oh, let's also drop off Lucille in here. All right, here we go. What is this? Oh, one of the vending machine things. All right. Do we have just a couple Zeeks or a whole shit ton of Zeeks? I want to say probably just a couple. They're kind of coming from there and here. And here too? I don't hear... It doesn't sound like there's a bunch of them. <laughs> nice. Nice. All right. Let's see what's in here. Scrap-a-doodle. This is probably just going to be clothing. Oh, that's nice. Oh, you guys were telling me I need to hang on to these to make the military backpack for the last, um, that last row. So I will start hanging on to those as we come across them. A hidden stash right here. Okay. Well, hello, high level tier four zombos. It's nice to see you. Not really. Oh, tier three, sorry. I don't know, are there tier four zombies in here? Tier 3s are tough enough. Case in point, right? Man, you guys are tough. I mean, I'm using shotgun slugs point blank to the face. And it's still taking, you know, four or five shots to kill these guys. Incredible. It's scary, actually. Okay. Nice impact driver. Wow. Yeah, I'll take it. All right, so we had some dudes come out of here. This is just a bathroom. We'll check the medical. Uh, what's in here? Just a big old toilet place. And we were we already checked this. Oh, we didn't check this up here. Another hidden stash. Yeah, we'll take that. We need it for repair kits and whatnot. Office rooms. Any wall safes back here? Nothing there. All right, we'll check the desk. What the hell? Waste of time. That means... I don't know why the graphics command's not working. But yeah, we're, we have a low graph graphics. Oh, nice. Okay, there's two of them. This means that uh, they put the poster up before they painted the place. <laughs> Another office room with a big gun safe. Actually, I want to grab that paper. Okay, scrap-a-doodle, scrap-a-doodle. Paper-a-doodle. It's 
since we seem to be finding a lot of backpack upgrades, we should probably be checking all the nice hunting knife. All of that stuff. Yeah, don't care. Scrap a doodle. There's one we haven't learned. All right, now we have. Okay, let's check the safe. Oh, nice. Nice auto shotgun. Okay, cool. That was good stuff. All right. You know something? Something occurred to me. I think I actually turned... The graphics down because I think we were having some issues let's go let's put everything on high but we don't want motion blur and we don't want depth of field and try that I was doing a live stream and I, ha I, I had to turn the graphics down because I can't remember why there was something that wasn't working right It still looks very low res, doesn't it? What if we run the command again? There. There we go. Okay. That's better. Mo better. All right. So I guess that's it. Um, I guess that's it for the ground floor. So we have one of these. Oh, everything up here. I think this was probably just a zombie, a zombie trap. I don't want that stuff. Uh, one of these rooms had a ladder in it going up to the ceiling. Here we go. All right, up to the roof we go. Okay, I don't see anything at the moment. There might be a lot of badness over there. Okay, there, now I see things. Okay, let's get back here. And we'll take care of our flying friends first. All right. Just trying to think. How we should play this because we're going to have one, two, three, four, five. Zomba doodles coming after us that we can see. So why don't we lower those odds a little bit? Oh yeah, I'm glad you went over there, dumbass. Perfect. That's exactly where you should have gone. Alright. We are infected and concussed. So, let's take this. And let's take this. And while we're at it, let's take one of these. And take some of this. All 
There we go. All right, cool. That went pretty well. Got a spider Zeke down there. A Darlene Zombo over there. If I could get to Spidey's head. Can't really. Can't really get to it from here. Well, let's pop Darlene. Alright, that took care of her. There we go. Where you going, dude? All right, we got the attention of some more zombadoodles. I don't think they can get up here without breaking something. He did. She did. No, 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 no spitting allowed. Okay, we still have an Arlene there. Not anymore. Nurse Nancy. Oh, I just destroyed something. I don't know what it was. Damn it. Hopefully it wasn't. Something real significant. And we're at the fat loots. Wow. Shortest tier five I think I've ever done in my entire life, vanilla or otherwise. That's not a bad thing. It's nice to have some short tier fives. All right, let's see what we got for lootskies. Telescopic baton. I'm not taking the rest of that crap. I'm not taking that. We'll check the food. Yeah, I, I'm going to have to go back and watch the video. I don't know what it was that I destroyed, but hopefully it wasn't something super valuable. The two important ones are the the high-tech crates here. In fact, let's check those right now. I'm going to have to unlock them. We still need three more armored hazmat pieces, too. And I don't think the boots were one of them. A javelin. Okay, so scrap those. Uh, let's go here. Oh, we do need armor boots. No, these are armored. So, wait a minute. Why? Oh, never mind. Okay. Yeah, we're good. All right, let's check this. Destroy Genie Bank. Don't want that. Don't want those. Okay, let's unlock this guy. Another set of armored boots, damn it. Mechanic Workbench Schematic. We already made this because we we learned it in um with one of our our perks or skills or whatever so oh speaking of which 
Oh, we need to take one of these because we're fatigued. Alright, I guess that's it. Guess that is it for this tier 5. So yeah, the Fireworks tier 5 is a really good tier 5 to farm. Because uh, in in all the tier 5s I've done so far in Ravenhurst, this is by far the easiest and quickest to do. So yeah, awesome. Okay. All right, you guys, that is it for this episode. We actually managed to get through an entire tier five in one episode. That's pretty amazing. Uh, but of course, like I said, it's pretty short tier five too. So uh, I'm going to let you guys go here and we will see you in the next episode. And I don't, uh, I probably will not be releasing daily episodes of Ravenhurst moving forward. It'll probably be more like, you know, a couple of week kind of thing because I just have a lot of other stuff going on. Uh, two, but we'll see how things go. And yeah, that is it. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.